folks, how's it going today? I hope you guys are all doing really good. Uh, I'm going to apologize for the sloppiness already. My hands are not doing well today. I'm having a terrible day playing guitar, so I'm just trying to pick a simple little tune here and get it on my hands, get my hands kind of moving and stretching a little. So uh, I figured I'd share this lesson with you. Uh, I've played this a few times in some videos, but I don't think I ever went over the song. So, Dr. John, uh, Such a Night. What a great track this is, really. Uh, I remember the first time I heard it, which was the studio version, and it was an immediate addiction. I wanted those chords on this guitar bad, you know. You guys know I like the piano stuff and like putting it onto a guitar, so let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to start in F, so we got F, G, A, A sharp, okay, A sharp 7, okay, so uh, we're going to hit this chord, and we're going to hit our pinky, we're going to hammer our pinky on the 8th fret on the B string, so... do it again the second time we do it we're gonna slide our pinky up to the tenth fret on the B string okay and this is the voice that we're looking for right uh, whoops sorry about that I went to the next chord already so that's the that's the first section is middle finger off right in the same uh, block here which makes it minor now now we're going to do the same thing but we're not going to slide our pinky up to the tenth fret we only have to go to the ninth this time so this one's a little easier than the first one it's like if you make it through the first one and then you get to this one it's like oh I made it you know but so now the first part, I'll show you another way you can finger that. Instead of coming up here to this A note on the tenth fret, there's an A note down here we could we could grab too. But my fingers don't work good this way. But you could do something like that too. Okay, I find it easier for me to do this. I have really short fingers, so. I'm kind of uh, in, painted in the corner that way, let's just say. So anyway, let's, let's go through this again. You can play that either way you want. It doesn't matter how you finger it, whichever works well for you, okay? So, and I had a ghost tap right there, just a rake and a stop, just to keep me in check and keep my timing right, okay? minus 7 and back down to C minor 7 and then back to the A sharp 7 where we started okay so when we put it all together we'll do it slow as I can and it's gonna be a little sloppy I'm sure but bear with me okay so we're gonna start right from the top real slow So I'm just trying to get the chords across to you one more time. So let's try that again. And I'm not going to talk and do it at the same time because it just messes me up, I guess. So anyway, here we go from the top.
twice, it may be more, but it's gonna come up to this chord again, the A sharp seven. chorus comes in, which is just, if I don't do somebody else will. And then we're back home, okay? And they might do a voice in like this, uh, part of the song I think he does do that I know live he does sometimes so uh, anyway that's such a night in a nutshell uh, really fun song like I said it's really melodic and it's not too tough to play uh, you know that little stretch thing is a little tricky at first now there is one cool thing that I would like to just speak about for a second that really stuck out to me in this tune and it's stuck out to me in a lot of other music too is this little move where you're going from right to the minor okay so now I've heard the the Beatles did a lot of this kind of stuff too where you would have a major chord to a minor chord right in the same shit block right in the same block you know what I mean it's a nice bit of tension that happens in it it really begs you to resolve your ear does your ear wants to hear that resolve to that nice pretty major chord uh, so it's kind of a happy ending I guess is how you could put it uh, anyway, it's a really fun song, and uh, as you guys know, I enjoy taking these piano-type songs and trying to fit them in on a guitar, and uh, I don't know, sometimes it's hit and miss, sometimes it doesn't always work, but I think this one will work, and uh, you know, again, it's just, it's just that nice progression that, that kind of sticks out to me and those little movements and, and that voice and too there's a lot of cool things you got a nice lope going in the rhythm it's just chugging along you have this nice moving melodic melody line that's happening and uh, I don't know it's just it's this really simple song it's not really complicated but it really it just fills the the gap somehow that's magical that way i should say okay guys well thanks again for watching and uh bear for putting up with my uh sloppy playing again i'm working on it but you know some days it just doesn't it's not in the cards so anyway i hope you enjoyed that lesson and uh I've got some more planned. I've got a list going. I've been actually writing stuff down, which is new for me. I'm usually just winging it, but uh, I do have some cool lessons coming up. Uh, I think you guys might enjoy, so uh, stick around. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, you guys have been showing up quite a bit. A lot of new people showing up daily. Uh, I really appreciate that. And uh, thanks to all you guys for sticking with me that have started from day one. It means a lot. You guys have put up with a lot, right? So, more to come soon, guys. Be good. We'll see you soon. Okie doke.